in this video we are going to discuss how we can sort a linked list of zeros ones and twos right say uh, this is my linked list it contain these nodes one one two zero two zero and one right and this is null so i need to sort this list so uh, after sorting how should it appear it should appear like this all the zeros will be aggregated on one side and then all the ones and then all the twos right okay there are three ones right so uh, it should look something like this right so basically we will be given a linked list an unsorted linked list of zeros ones and twos and we need to sort that linked list so we know that all the zeros will come in front then all the ones in the middle and the old uh, and all the twos at the end of the list right so we need to do this task so uh, uh let's discuss this thing like how we can do that okay uh say so this is my list again one two zero two one zero and say one okay this is my list so uh, what should be the output if this is the input so i need to uh, the output should be two zeros in front right then one one and one and then two and two okay so uh, like how i can get this output I can do one thing let's count the number of zeros here so uh, if this is my list and I want to count number of zeros first of all zeros. so how many number of zeros are there one and two right so it's count as two then how many number of ones are there it's one two and three right so there are three ones and how many twos are there so there are two twos right so uh, what I can do is that uh, this is null right now what I can do here is that uh, starting from the like we know we just need to insert zeros ones or twos only right so I can do one thing simply go to the first node replace the uh, uh, data of this node to zero how many times I need to replace it to zero uh, the count like uh, the no, the count of the zero uh, is two right so uh, for two times I need to replace the uh, like I need to replace the two nodes with zero right because I have two zeros here in this list so what I'll do just replace it with zero and replace this with zero right so uh, let's create another linked list and in that we'll be making the changes okay so uh, first of all one zero then other zero right then how many number of threes so replace one two three these nodes data with one right so we have three nodes data as one now we'll be left with two and if you'll see we have two nodes left only and that are of two data right so okay let's write two here and this is null right so if you'll see we have our output list here right this is same there are two zeros we have two zeros then three ones three ones and then two and two right okay so let's discuss it with some other example okay uh, say this is my list it contain these elements right and say this is null okay so what should be the output I know if this is the input the output should be uh, first of all there are three zeros what I'm doing here I'm actually counting and then I'm writing the output right and that is exactly what we need to do here then the number of ones are five right so just write it as this and then a two right so this should be my output so what I can do maintain account zero account one and account two right okay so go to the input list and go to the input list and count the number of zeros so how many number of zeros are there one two and three so this count is three right the number of one so it has one two three four and five one so this is five and then one two right so this is one now what I need to do go to the input list again and change the data of first three nodes to zero right because we want zero at the start right so what do you need to do you need to do this thing zero 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 and the remaining list will be same right it will be something like this okay now what I need to do after these three nodes go to the next five nodes and change the data to one right so okay so let's do it zero 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 now we need to change the data of five nodes to one this is one this is one this is one this is one and this is one right and this is zero again now these nodes are covered with zero and these nodes contain five uh, five ones right 
and now i'm left with one node here and i'm left with one uh, uh like count two also has a value one right so this node should be replaced with the value two right so what i need to do just do it like this zero 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 and then one five times one right and then a two here and if you'll see here the output is same right both of these things are same we have three zeros then uh five ones and then one two right so this is how we can proceed in this so uh now let's write a code for it okay uh so say this is my list it contain these elements we have zero then one then zero one one two one and two right and this is null so what i'm doing here i have created a count uh, array which contains zero initially like it has a size three and it contains zero right and this is my count array okay now i have taken a uh, this is my head node right i have taken a pointer ptr that is pointing to the head node itself so we have ptr here now uh, what is uh, you know we are doing in this step basically this uh, this is index 0 this is 1 and this is 2 so these indexes will be storing the count of 0 1 and 2 itself right so what we are doing here we are iterating this ptr over this whole list until ptr becomes equal to null and what we are doing we are doing counter uh, sorry count of ptr data so say uh, in the first iteration what will be count of ptr data count of ptr data is zero right in the first case so it will be uh, plus sorry plus is equal to one this basically means that we are adding one to the count so count at zero count zero is zero right so we are adding one to it so we are replacing it with one we'll be having one now right and then we are doing ptr is equal to ptr next so ptr will be here this time right then what we are doing again we are going to uh, count ptr data plus one so this is uh, this time ptr data is one so what is count of one count of one is zero and we are adding one to it right so i'll replace this thing and write one here okay again ptr is equal to ptr next so again i'll come to count zero and i'm adding one to it so what is count zero count zero is one so i'll change it to two right okay then do ptr is equal to ptr next now what i need to do i need to go to count two and increment its value right so count two is zero so increment it to one then go to one increment it to two again we have one so increment this two to three right then go to two and this will be ptr right now go to two again increment the count of two to two right and uh, this is one so ptr will be here now so again increase the count of one from three to four right and similarly we'll be having here on two and increments its count right and then we'll be on null so we need to come out of the loop we'll come here right so the status of my count array is like this this is my count array and the number of zeros are two and the number of ones are four right and the number of twos are three so let's verify the number of zeros this is zero one and two the number of zeros in this linked list are one zero and two zero yeah two are there okay now the number of ones are one two three and four correct we have four uh, ones here right and the number of twos are two uh, three according to this so we have one two and three twos right so this is our count array this is the status of count array okay so uh, now let's proceed further uh, like what's happening in further code okay so what i have done here i have taken i is equal to zero i have taken a variable i is equal to zero and ptr a uh, ptr was at null uh, when we come out of this condition right so again we are taking ptr to head so now our ptr will be here again right okay now in this loop what we are doing again we are iterating over this whole list if you can see we have ptr is not equal to null right so when ptr will reach null then we need to stop right now come to the first if condition what we are doing if count of i that is uh, what is i zero if count of zero is equal to zero so count of zero is not zero that is uh, because it is two right so what we need to do we need to come to the else condition and in ptr's data we need to put i what is ptr data this is ptr's data right zero and we need to put i here so this is zero and this is also zero so basically we need to put zero here right and then do minus minus count i so go to count i and reduce it to one right so it will be one this time okay and then do ptr is equal to ptr next so ptr will be here this time right 
now uh, again go to the condition and check while ptr is not equal to null so yeah ptr is not equal to null right so again i'll check if count of i is equal to zero so it is one right so it is not zero so again what i need to do decrement it to uh, uh, like uh, minus one like uh, subtract my uh, one from it and it will be decremented to zero right and in the next data put zero here like in ptr's data put i right so i is still zero so i have uh, done this and do ptr is equal to ptr is next right so my ptr is here now okay so i'll again come to uh, this condition if if count of i is equal to zero so is count of i equal to zero yeah it's zero now right because it has been decremented two times and we have pushed the data zero two times in the list right so now i need to do something i need to do plus plus i so just change i to one right and then again come to the condition we we don't have to do anything now right we don't need to do ptr is equal to ptr next okay so now my i is one now go to if count of i is equal to zero now my count of i is four right so what i need to do i need to uh, come to the else condition and again change it to three subtract uh, one from it and put the data here like put i here and do ptr is equal to ptr next how many times i need to uh, follow these steps three times more right because uh, here we have three right now when this uh, count of one will become zero then i need to increment it to two and then we can proceed to uh, the uh, rest part right so let's change it to this is one this is one and this is one right and this is my ptr now right then again my i will be two right and for uh similar uh similarly for uh, two we need to do the similar task change it to two and make ptr here then change it to two and make ptr here and then again change it to two and this will be zero right and we'll be done if we'll see uh let's write the link list now and this is zero this is zero right okay after that we have one 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 four times one right and then three times two and then null right so if you can see here my link list has been sorted right and this is what i wanted right okay so this is how i can sort a link list by changing the data inside the nodes right now let's see the time complexity of this code uh say my list has n number of nodes okay there are n nodes in my list so what I'm doing here, here I have not done anything, right? Here is a loop, if you can see. And we're iterating over the whole list in this part, right? So the complexity of this part will be order of n because there are n number of nodes, right? Then again in this part, we're again iterating over the whole list. So this is again O of n, right? Because we are iterating over all the nodes of the list until we get null. And in the same case, until we get null, we're iterating over the list, right? So uh, what is the effective O of n, I can say? it is this o o f uh, sorry o of n plus this o of n right which i can call it as 2 o of n and i can effectively say it as order of n right so the time complexity of this code is order of n right okay so this is how we can solve it i hope you are able to understand these things thank you